Hi everyone, today I wanted to go over something that I've been curious about for a while, and that is figuring out how to calculate the speed I would need to go to make my wheels look like they aren't spinning, in respect to the video camera's FPS, kind of like this. So let's start out with some basics. So a video camera shoots at a certain FPS, or frames per second which pretty much means that it captures a certain amount of pictures in a second that in turn play in order to make these images seem like they are moving, just like a flip book. For example, a video camera shooting at 30 FPS or frames per second captures 30 images in a second. So getting back to the problem, how can I match up my camera's FPS with the speed of my wheel to make it seem almost still or barely moving. Let's break down the problem. The basic equation we need to solve for is speed, which is distance divided by time. So first, let's find the distance. We need to figure out the distance my wheels need to travel so it seems like it didn't move. We don't need the wheel to go a full rotation but to where the pattern of the wheel repeats. And in my case, my wheel has five repeating patterns, so it only needs to go this far to get the same image captured. So this would be the circumference of the wheel divided by the number of spokes. And this would be our distance. And now onto the time. We know that the camera shoots at a certain frames per second, but if we flip this, or take the inverse, this should give us seconds per frame, or the time it takes until the next image is taken. For example, if we had two seconds per frame, then two seconds would pass until the next image is taken. Now that we have the basic components, let's start plugging in the numbers, starting with distance. Their circumference is 2 times pi, or 3.14, times the radius, which is 12 and 1 8 inch in my case, or 12.125 inches, to get 76.18 inches. Then divide that number by the number of spokes, 5, to get 15.24 inches. For the time, my 30 frames per second camera would be 0 0.03 seconds. Then finishing the calculation will give us a speed target of 457.1 inches per second. I know this doesn't really make sense to us, so let's go ahead and do the conversion to something we are familiar with. First, I multiply this with 60 seconds per minute, then 60 minutes per hour, then 1 mile per 63,360 inches, which equates to 25.97 miles per hour. Now that we have something familiar, we can also go any multiple of this speed to get the same result. For example, if I go 2 times the speed, that means that the spoke is just being captured when it travels 2 spoke lengths instead of 1. And if 3 times the speed, the distance of 3 spoke lengths have been traveled before the next images have been captured, so forth and so on. And if you had a camera with 60 frames per second, your recalculation would get you pretty much double these speeds. Before we test out our math, I just wanted to list some things to look out for. When measuring your wheel's radius, you want to measure from the center down to the ground because that will be the true circumference of your wheel's travel, because it is flatter than the middle up. And related to that, the pressure of the tires will affect how large or small your radius is a tiny bit, and therefore affecting your speedometer. Now on to some excuses I have. First, my wife was driving my car on a short runway, so she only had a small window to get up to speed and slow down by the end of the road and without the use of cruise control, so the speeds won't be constant. 
On top of that, the speedometer is pretty small and hard to read. And my front wheel, where my calculations are based off of, is actually larger than my rear. So they wouldn't be spinning at the exact same speeds. Particularly due to me replacing the front tires larger than factory spec. So that will also cause an inaccuracy on the speedometer. Okay, with that all said, let's check out how it went. This was one of my first attempts, which actually went okay. You can clearly see that the wheels are spinning different speeds due to their different sizes. And here's probably my best attempt. Whenever you see the wheel slowly spinning forward, that just means that she's going a little too fast, so the spoke moved beyond the next capture point. And the opposite logic if you see it spinning backwards. Here's our attempt at a higher speed target. It was definitely more difficult to get up there and stay there for an extended period of time. In this last attempt, I actually filmed this at a higher frame rate, so that means I had to start at a higher minimum speed than before to get this effect. I hope this video was informative and interesting to you. Also, why not give this a try and let me know how it went. Thanks for watching everyone. <laughs>